Hello guys and gals, this is going to be part four of Wings of Silver. It is a compilation of inspirational writings um, compiled by Joe Petty. And it is really a fascinating, fascinating book. And what I got from the library. Anyways, move um, to part four out of the way. And we are going to be reading the piece, the, the chapter rather, on peace. So from page 31 to 37. Because long suffering starts on page 38. Gentleness on 51, goodness on 56, faith on 64, meekness on 74, and temperance on 81. And um, as always, we'll read the uh, little intro here. I can find it again. This is for copyright information. Ah, can't find it. Oh, here it is. It says um that uh Joe Petty. How many of the original sources are unknown to the compiler? She nonetheless wishes to acknowledge the authors, whoever they may be. She has gathered a collection containing gems of wisdom, and although she has brought nothing of her own. She has supplied the thread that ties them all together. So I always read that basically for copyright information. And we're going to start with peace. And I believe this first one is the 23rd Psalm. And it's one that most people probably have memorized. Um, let me get a better positioning here. <coughs> okay. Let's see. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Um, just making sure I didn't miss anything here. Yep. I didn't. We are ready for page 32 now. We're going to just start on this side so I can... Looking through the viewfinder is just annoying. <clears throat> okay. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Is your soul running as though being pursued with no opportunity for rest and feed? He that loves silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loves abundance with increase. Rest is the sweet sauce of labor. Watching for riches consumes the flesh, and the care thereof drives away sleep. Watching care will not let a man slumber, as a sore disease breaks sleep. When you have accomplished your daily task, go to sleep in peace. God is awake. I will lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makes me dwell in safety. If I am at war with myself, I can bring little peace to my fellow man. I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. All men desire peace. Few desire the things which make for peace. Peace is the happy, natural state of man. Now we're going to go to this side. As long as man stands in his own way, everything seems to be in his way. A good memory is fine, but the ability to forget is the, is the true test of greatness. Well-arranged time is the surest mark of a well-arranged mind. I am easy to please, but difficult to satisfy. 
The thing to put aside for one's old age is all thought of retirement. Let me read that one again. The thing to put aside for one's old age is the thought of retirement. In other words, um, you shouldn't think about retirement. You should basically focus all the time. I get it, yeah. And it's, as we learned with um, Joy, was Joy the last one? Whatever the last one was, we found out that work was really what brings joy. That's right. Okay. Anyways, um, it says here, uh, doing nothing is the most tiresome job in the world because you cannot quit and rest. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry for, angry with my foe. I hid my wrath. My wrath did grow. A man's venom poisons himself more than his victim. That's very true. Marriage with a good woman is an, is a harbor in the tempest of life. With a bad woman, it is a tempest in the harbor. Few things are more bitter than to feel bitter. That's bitter as in, like, what coffee is not better as in, like, ooh, you did better than the next person. Uh, we're ready for page 34 now. Let's continue. We're going to go this page first. The evening of... The evening of a well-spent life brings its lamp with it. Work is not the cause. Rest is not the cure. Rest not from duty, but find rest in it. Better is a handful of quietness than both the hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. Consider wherein you agree with your opponent rather than wherein you differ. I'm so accustomed to being tense that when I'm calm, I get nervous. How good and how pleasant is it for brothers to dwell together in unity. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Be careful for nothing, but in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Think little of what others think of you. Don't hurry, don't worry. Do your best and leave the rest. If we find not repose in ourselves, it is in vain to seek it elsewhere. Fear nothing so much as sin. There is no witness so terrible, no accuser so powerful as conscience, as conscience which dwells within us. There is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. If it is possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Worry a mental tornado, a dog chasing its own tail. To carry care to bed is to sleep with a pack on your back. The secret of contentment is knowing how to enjoy what you have. This is maturity, to be able to stick with a job until it is finished, to be able to bear an injustice without wanting to get even, to be able to carry money without spending it, and to do one's duty without being supervised. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, we are almost done here. We're on page 36. We've got two pages left. Religion has long been used to comfort the troubled. May it sometime may it may it sometimes be used to trouble the comfortable. Pure gold can lie in um let me move this a little closer. I'm having trouble seeing. Sorry about that. Mm. Pure gold can lie for a month in the furnace without losing a grain. 
the peace within becomes the harmony without. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. Follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one would edify another. Be justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I shall grow old, but never lose life's zest, because the road's last turn will be the best. Expect the best. It lies not in the past. God ever keeps the good wine till the last. Beyond, beyond our nobler work and sweeter rest, expect the best. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That is actually a question. I should have went a little bit up at the end. Of whom shall I be afraid? Because of the question mark. In solitude we are least alone. Because we are with our own thoughts. I should know myself better if there were not so many of me. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. My son, forget not my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to you. How men treat us will make little difference when we know what what we have no. When we know we have, right. excuse me. Let, let me try that again. Ah. How men treat us will make very little difference when we know we have God's approval. One who is afraid of lying is usually afraid of nothing else. Be still and know that I am God. Cast all your cares upon God, for He cares for you. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings shall you trust. His trust shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. I believe that is the final page. Yeah. In the next chapter, we will be reading about long suffering. And it looks to be a rather long chapter, so we might have to do that one in two parts. Nope. Ooh, there's a page falling out of this book. I'm going to need to um, patch that. Make sure that it hasn't lost any pages so far. This is really a beautiful book. 50, 51, yeah. All the pages are still in here. I'm going to need to um, patch that page, though. Anyway, that was um, Wings of Silver from the chapter called um, Peace. That was it, Peace. If you like this content, then make sure that you hit like. That you subscribe and that you ring the bell so you know when I upload. I've got a wide variety of content on my channel. And um, I upload videos nearly daily. So anyways. I appreciate everyone sticking to the end. And um, I appreciate all the support. All the information will be in the description below. And um, with that, that will end the video. Thanks for watching everyone. And have a great day.